next step of our process is multi-scale linear transform, which basically means noise reduction. All right, so uh, what I'm gonna do is just start this process because it's a very long process. So we're gonna be with each other for a little while. I hope that's okay. All right, but let's just start this. We're gonna go process, multi-scale processing, multi-scale linear transform. There we go. All right, we got one, two, three, four. You need five layers. So you gotta start with five layers. So select five first, that's very important. Now that we selected five layers, you're probably wondering, what are these layers? I don't know what they are. What am I doing here? And what are these parameters? You gotta choose a noise reduction, and you gotta put in a threshold and amount and our iterations. It's crazy, right? Remember noise reduction tools, the most of the time it's just like, okay, here's noise reduction. I wanna do light, medium, heavy. No, not this one. But kind of, kind of, yeah, it kind of does do that. And that's what each of these layers kind of do. Let me start to explain these layers, okay? You got five layers here, and I'm gonna show you exactly what these five layers are. So if you go to script, image analysis, extract wavelet layers, you're gonna see exactly what we're applying noise reduction to. Okay, so I'm gonna go through all these. Here we go, five layers right now. We have a residual layer right here, but we're not gonna to touch the resi residual layer, if I could say that correctly. So I'm gonna just gonna kill this, right? I'm gonna get rid of it. No residual layer, because we're not touching that. That's it right there, not touching it. So what's confusing about this is that there's, the layers here are zero, one, two, three, four, and the layers over here are one, two, three, four, five. So layer zero equals layer one. How annoying, Pix and Sight. All right, so layer zero, this is layer one. So let's take a look at that. So layer zero, if we zoom in here, you're gonna see, wow, look at all that noise. There's a lot of noise here. You know what? I think this is what most people do. They don't even want layer zero. So they're gonna double click this layer, and you're gonna say, no, get rid of it. I don't want it, all right? Let's get rid of all this noise. It doesn't have a lot of signal, has just some broken stars on it. Let's get rid of it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sayonara, layer one. Let's get to layer, I think this is now layer one. So layer one is actually layer two. Let's open this. And here you could see there's a lot of noise, but there's also some signal. So. The point is with all these layers, as you go through them, is that you're gonna start seeing more signal, less noise as you keep going through each one, right? More signal, less noise. And what you wanna do by the time you get to this fourth layer or layer five, there's a lot more signal and there's just not as much noise. What you wanna do is apply the most noise reduction to the early layers and the least noise reduction to the last layers. Right, so you're kind of kind of going through here. So layer two, we're gonna put a whole bunch of noise reduction on. Layer three, not as much as layer two. Layer four, not as much as layer three. Layer five, the least. I'm gonna close all these now, now that you understand you're looking at the layers. These are called wavelets. I don't know, it doesn't really matter, but that's what they're applying noise reduction to. So let's just start here. I'm gonna start with a threshold of three. I'm gonna start with the default number right here. I'm gonna do an amount of one, some yep, and then I'm gonna do three iterations on this first one. The next one, I'm gonna do a threshold of, let me see, two, two, two. Let's do a threshold of two. Let's do an amount of 0.75, and let's do two, two iterations. So you can see I'm kind of gradually going down with my numbers here. Let's do this one, which is, a uh, uh, a threshold of one, and let's do a um, amount of, let's just say, oof, 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5, or 0. 0.4, let's do 0. 0.4. Then our last one here, we're gonna do some noise reduction, and what we're gonna do is an amount of a threshold of 0. 0.5, it wasn't let me type there, how annoying, 0. 0.5, we are going to do, let me see, 0. 0.1, I think. And we're gonna do one iteration. 
Okay, so these last two have one iteration, and the last thing we want to do is add a bias. Now, not everybody adds a bias, but I do. So what happens when you do all this noise reduction? What happens is that you 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 kind of get it kind of gets soft, right? That's what happens with noise reduction. Things get soft. So the bias aims to correct the softness in the stars, especially in the stars. So I'm going to keep adding a bias of 0.03. And I think this is a best practice to each of these. Let me keep going along here. All right, there we go. We got to our last one. All right, next step, we're going to add a linear mask. I'm going to click the linear mask button. What I'm going to do is also click a preview mask because we want to see what the mask looks like. So I'm going to click this to preview my mask. What I'm going to do is increase my amplification. There you go. And you could see, there it is, the jellyfish nebula. Now, just like any mask, this is how it works. The white area is going to get all the noise reduction. The area that's black or grayish is going to get no noise reduction. So that's the way it works, right? That's the way any mask works. At this point, we could close our mask, or at least close our preview. Very important, you want to uncheck the preview mask here. You don't want that, that to happen. Now we are ready to go. So what I'm going to do, just like I do every single time, is drag one of these instances out onto my desktop, and I'm going to hit apply. Okay, this is done now. So what we're going to do is just kind of take a look at the effects of this. And let me just see if I zoom in. There we go. I'm going to hit back. Wow, look at that noise. No noise. Noise before multi-scale linear transform. No noise after multi-scale linear transform. Pretty amazing. And you can see these uh, stars still stayed pretty sharp. Uh, that's due to the bias. Thank you, bias. Thank you very much. That's it. That's all we got to show. I'll see you on the next video. We'll talk soon. Bye.